reflections. Um, this is about um, maybe projecting good things, um, maybe seeing yourself in a different light, okay? Um, maybe you're contemplating something. Uh, let's see here. And then the time out, so awareness, contemplation. This is about solitude and somewhat being um, alone. This is really gives you the time to focus and uh, maybe you are doing some kind of contemplation about something. Maybe soul searching, okay? Maybe seeking some kind of truth here with the with the magic of the Cohen truth. Um, this is seeing things um, in a sense of being cautious, cautious, but you know, not really holding yourself back. Um, let's see, and then you have the experiments and the vulnerability. Um, with the experiments, this is like a sense of um, uh, like wanting to change, getting out of cruelty, um, you know, manipulation, you know, and then vulnerability is really opening your heart and allowing yourself um, to be tender, either being tender to yourself or tender to another. So I, I definitely do feel like there's a sense of um, something. I'm going to keep that one up because I feel like the vulnerability, I will ask before I put it away, but I feel like that's the one that's supposed to be there. Okay, the one on the bottom. So let me see here. Let's ask. Welcome, you guys. I hope you're doing well. I always appreciate you guys being here and uh, letting me s start off your day, hopefully in the right direction. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So let's see. I'm rolling up the sleeves here. What does the vulnerability mean? Before I put it away. So see, it is a new cycle. It's, it's almost like you're coming to terms with something, okay? The way I feel is like you're becoming to terms with something. You're maybe going in caution. Maybe something that you've been thinking about for a long time and maybe projected um some kind of fear or some kind of vulnerability it might be due because of manipulation and constraints and things like that but with the fool coming out it's almost like it's giving you a new opportunity whatever this is um don't be scared to love uh, meaning if you've had hard relationships don't carry those relationships relationships into the future um really break the pattern this is a whole new start here with the fool um and this one as well the the ace of swords some kind of truth some kind of intuition this is really grounding information whether it's information that you need to speak your truth about or someone needs to speak a truth to you about okay so i definitely do feel uh there is this sense of um whatever this darkness is here especially with the experiments and maybe um, the feeling almost like you can't trust yourself or maybe you can't trust another person um, if there's a sense of changing, changing that, it, it's almost like a rescue, like, I feel like it, it changes something about you, okay? So, let's see, I'm going to put these back, and we'll see if they come back out in the reading, okay? So, let's see, what is reflections, reflections, um, you know, what do you think about yourself? Um, maybe, you know, getting to the point where you have... The sense of self-love, a self of uh, a sense of um, uh, recognizing what you need and what what you feel is uh, better for you, something like that. I see the six of pentacles. That is a balance. That is maybe you've given a lot to a lot of people and they haven't given you back um, in the same, you know, the same kind of balance. Meaning, meaning you, you put into situations so much and you don't get anything back. So, you know, maybe this is you um, sort of ringing that in. You got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So that's where we get this kind of feeling of uncertainty or uh, will I be able to go down the new path or is the new path going to come to me? Um, like the new offer or um, something stable. Maybe you're you're looking to get out of something that's been very unstable for you with the Ten of Swords because that really keeps you from growing, okay? Um, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, so what is the Six of Pentacles? 
the Six of Pentacles, please. So you got the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So, and then these ones as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this is a situation where maybe you've been scared to take action on it, you know, maybe because you've been either feeling too stressed to, to cope with the situation, maybe you've been sick, um, maybe just struck with fear, okay, so that's definitely that sense of maybe you need to look at yourself better and what you're projecting, are you attracting this for yourself, you want to break that pattern and stop attracting these kind of situations to yourself, uh, there's really this thing with the reflection of um, maybe putting a better a, a better you out there, you know. There's a sense of healing, uh, perhaps maybe allowing some kind of, um, you know, uh, nurturing or help or healing, something like that. Some kind of balancing, okay, with the chariot and the sun here. And there's that ace of swords. It's, it's a speaking up for some truth is what it feels like. I feel with the Ace of Swords and the Sun, you're really trying to cut something out, something that you haven't been able to to get away from. And you see with the Eight of Cups, you're really moving away from something, okay? What is the Ton of Swords? Very tricky. Um, I think that maybe you're really, I think like what it feels like, it's almost as if you're contemplating all the situations that have gone on, meaning the difficult situations. There's the King of Cups, so needing to open up and express. Um, maybe being able to express how they feel for you, um, or you feel for them, or maybe even how you feel about yourself in a situation. The King of Cups is really having that self-love for you. It is a masculine card, so is this somebody who's ready to make you, maybe take that, that uh, action and maybe, maybe saying something? Um, communication, um, something like that is what it feels like there. And it really uses a lot of uh, energy to somehow, um, like, have a, a better way of thinking for yourself, um, something like that. So I do feel whatever this is, it's almost like, what it feels like, it's like almost like, um, Either you're pondering all the difficult things that have led you to where you are, and these things have made you somehow wake up to know that things can get better and that you can shift out of negativity and have some kind of balance with the sun and the chariot, okay? Um, whatever these things are that are holding you back in fear, whether they're people, whether they're just the way you think, um, just worry, things that you're worried about, it's very much you can overcome, you can overcome them, and it's the, in the power of your mind, um, I feel like this is where you might be contemplating if you want to leave a situation, whether that's business, whether that's love, family, you take the pick, okay, let's see, what is that eight of cups, right here with the eight of cups, what is it that they're walking away from, um, something that's not emotionally fit for you anymore, you got the ten of ten of uh, the wheel, so this is really that cycle, uh, letting go of the things that are not growing, so that you can sort of come and start growing things, uh, manifesting new things, uh, experiencing new things, um, and then you have the Queen of Wands. So is this you rolling towards the Queen of Wands? Um, I feel like you've had to walk away from these de negative situations in order to be able to walk to this new situation. The the wheel is new. You've you've left something, okay? And that's what the Eight of Cups said as well. You've left something, something that might have been very toxic, uh, something that you've you've given a lot for a situation, but you haven't gotten back. Um, very stagnant in some some kind of maybe a long. A long kind of cycle that you've been in okay um, I think that you've found some kind of love inside of you for yourself to move yourself in a different direction if this isn't you or it could be them you know um, but that is going towards new the Queen of Wands is it's passionate it's young it's 
it's vibrant, it's loving, it's nurturing, it's taking action, really. Um, so let's see here. I want to know what is the time out? Maybe this is a separation, guys. Is this a time out? Is, um, is this dealing with work? Have you been laid off? Do you feel like you're not going to get a job? Do you, do you feel like you're not going to uh, be able to build again? Um, if it is a timeout, it doesn't mean it's forever. It means it's a temporary. If it is dealing with work, maybe this is a relationship, okay? What is the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles, I think you're, you're, you're working on strength. You're working on spirit. You're working on changing. Uh, this is you trying to change, maybe to extend, extend that those branches on your on your tree. Okay, you got the death card and the hierophant. So see, it is about spirituality, um, and perhaps maybe this is the time where, with this kind of um, time out, this kind of focusing on you, and and realizing what's going on with you, you could let go of all the things that have not worked out, all the regrets, all the missed opportunities um, to ground yourself and somehow set yourself back up. Okay, that's what it feels like. Um, what is the death card? What is the death card here? So this one here, putting an end to something, allowing yourself to heal. Okay, uh, this is giving yourself a fresh new start, starting over, feeling safe enough to, you're feeling safe enough to do um, to go towards what it is that you want. I don't think you felt safe enough before for whatever reason. Maybe you didn't trust yourself or you just didn't trust the situation. And that goes with that vulnerability, you know. What is the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant, please? The Hierophant. So let's see. You have uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Five. It's a marriage. It's something that you've worked on for a long time. Um... But it, it's left it's left you cold. It's left you without anything to show. Um, and I feel like maybe that's where the manipulation is. Is this time for you to end this? The Hierophant is telling you, you know, surrender to it. Meaning, surrender. It's okay to let go of things. It's okay to, uh, per se, fail at something. It's not a fail. It's, it's, a, it's a sense of learning a lesson. Um... So I do feel it's a choice. It's definitely that choice. Do you continue to stay like that? Or do you continue, um, you know, do you continue and maybe start over again with the Ace of Pentacles? You got the Two of Pentacles, which is that choice. Do you surrender to it? Do you surrender, surrender to what you truly want on the inside? Uh, this could be um, a, a relationship or a job that you've been in for such a long time and you're finding it very hard to let go of it um, maybe because you think you're going to lose everything um, so I do feel it's a choice that needs to happen um, yeah let's see I want to know what is the five of swords here for time out five of swords it's almost like you're thinking I, I felt contemplation with that card you're thinking about all these things how, how do I get on on unhooked you know like um, with the, with the hangman it's another card about being t in, in a timeout so maybe this is separation that you're you don't see it coming but you're going to end the separation maybe okay because i definitely do see that um and then the hangman again it, it's it could be a separation it could be a timeout uh and then you have oh wow you have the the princess of wands this is definitely that new message that reconnecting and then you have the lovers. So, wow, um, I do feel like this is something that is going to come in your future, okay? Um, three of Wands. Three of Wands and the lovers. So, it, it's definitely something you've been wishing for. It's something that you've been manifesting. And it's something that you for sure have been waiting um, for some time. So, I, I do feel like there is a new beginning here. It's a choice of beginning and starting over with something that's going to give you prosperity, abundance, uh, clarity, a sense of um, balance as well, okay? Uh, so if it's a relationship or a new partnership, it's it's really denoting that you're going you're gonna to get your wish fulfillment, okay? Um, and so I want to know, what is the magic of the Cohen truth? And this is finding authenticity. This is finding truth in the situations, um, no matter what's going on. You know, in your exterior, it's where you find the inner truth for yourself. So you have the two of wands, 
the two of wands, the queen, and see, already I feel like the truth here is that you're realizing perhaps someone's either, either at work, family, or love, someone is somehow holding you back from making the choices that you want because I see the two of wands as maybe holding you back from really growing and, and doing what it is that you want. You've got the Queen of Swords and the Magician, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So almost as if there's a sense of en envious um, energy around you that doesn't want you to succeed. Um, and maybe you're seeking out this truth. Maybe you're seeing this truth that you didn't see before. In the form of manipulation is definitely what I'm feeling here. Um, what is the Queen of Swords? O almost like whoever this is, um, they want you to be happy. The person that holds you back or is manipulating, manipulating you, they want you to be happy. They want you to be successful. Probably because you have a family or you have a long-standing uh, relationship or partnership with them okay um but i feel like they use their energy against you okay with the queen of swords and the magician definitely um what is the queen of swords what's the queen of swords maybe that's the person you need to tell the truth to meaning i don't want to be with you that's what i hear um queen of swords please or just someone who's not listening to you so see there's that temperance um, healing a situation maybe with somebody maybe getting help from someone okay um, to help you to see something and with the two of wands it's really that card of moving forward so maybe there's been some sort of delay for you to move forward um, in a situation I definitely do feel like um, the temperance is divine timing it, it is going to happen on divine timing um, and there is going to be some kind of victory and success in it, okay? Um, so let's see. I think that you're starting to wake up to uh, the things that maybe project to be ha good and kind and happy. And then as time goes by, you're realizing, holy crap, they were nothing but heartache. Really um, painful things, okay? Being left out. Um, so what is the experiments, please? The experiments. So... Maybe someone's toying with your emotion. You got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. What is the Queen of Cups, please? Uh, that could be um, the sense of having a really a high intuition. Uh, just really someone who could be very psychic. Maybe this is somebody who holds your heart. Uh, this is also could be a mother figure. Maybe even a wife. Okay. Experiments, please. Experiments. Okay, so you have... Um, the Page of Swords, Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, what I feel is like with this card, it, it's very much about those things that manipulated you. Um, smoke screens and manipulation and gaslighting and, and things like this. So it's like you're pursuing your your knowledge you're getting your knowledge uh forcing change maybe getting rid of cruelty um i, I do feel like there's a sense of there's been a lot of things that have happened to you uh, and they're only because they're in a form of manipulation or hurt uh, meaning someone's trying to spite you you know someone's trying to hurt you um but i definitely do feel that you're on it i think you're on it i think whoever this is they're aware of the situation and it's only because they've had some time to think and see some kind of truth. Um, and things will start projecting different in the future is what I see here with these cards. Um, there's really this sense of you better make sure you're on the right team with the Seven of Wands. Make sure you're not working for someone who's taking one over on you. This also relates to friends or family. Make sure you're getting what it is that you need here with the Seven of Wands, okay? Um, don't create a struggle, in other words. Um, and, and I do feel this is cautious here with the the princess of um, the princess of swords. It's about caution. Uh, maybe going forward with caution. Um, maybe you weren't safe to come together in a situation because somewhere in here I got it earlier that you weren't safe <clears throat> to move forward to something. 
but I see that that obstacle is being removed because there's uh, it's been acknowledged it's been uh, revealed um, maybe you search some inner for some kind of information and discovered something um, something like that okay but I, I do see this as, as something that what you weren't able to grow in the past you're gonna be able to grow it now okay with the Queen of Cups the two of Cups and the seven of Pentacles um, so really really reaping what you sow okay even though there's malicious people on the outside you know or you know could even be in the home or relationships it, it's like you sort of have to step up to the game and, and really sort of acknowledge it it doesn't mean you have to be like it but you can change it once you understand it and I think that that is the understanding here for somebody they're leaving something very toxic okay um, <clears throat> so let's see how does this story end for today please how does this story end for today so you have see putting down the struggle putting down the wall uh, I guess there was a hard wall up because I said wall um, there's boundaries here that you're setting um, it's actually healing you though okay what else please uh, something you've been stuck in for a long time giving your whole and not getting anything back okay I think you're recognizing that for yourself now. Ten of Cups. Ten ten, guys. And then let's see this one that fell down. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. The Knight of Wands. So rushing back in, starting over, uh, being passionate. Good news. Um, uh, uh, like tender moments are coming, you know. Um, uh, what else? What else can you show me, please? How will it end? Okay. And then, um, because you're choosing, I you see you're choosing stability over something that's manipulative or controlled. Okay. And there's that King of Wands. So definitely taking charge, really taking charge, going with the flow, um, the better flow, really. And meaning they're allowing themselves to change something. Okay. So let's see here. Um, what is this karmic cycle? How will it end this karmic cycle, please? What is it and how will it end? How is it? And how will it end? Okay. So, um, loss issues you might have lost, you know, people, money, jobs, whatever, homes. Um, moving on, escaping. Okay, so you're letting that stuff go, okay? And craftsmanship so maybe you're learning a new skill um, you know coming back in charge of, of that skill uh, maybe you just have that skill as far as intuition and guidance inner guidance okay you got two soulmates so is this your twin flame is this your soulmate you know um, so it could be pulling you towards that kind of situation uh, let's see here let's do this one right here Okay, what is their chakra message for today? Okay, so resounding sound, the throat chakra. Remember, you need to speak up. Somebody needs to find their voice. And finally, when you find that voice, you sort of set yourself free. You let yourself go from any anything that you've been holding back from. Okay, and what is the spirit message for today? The spirit message for them for today. This one, okay. So this one right here, uh, listen, you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be compass a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention and not just what's, not to just what's being said, but what lies beneath the words. Uh, a lot of truths are coming up, okay? Um, I can just hear it. and. Some of these things might be very hard, okay? Um, but you're going to be able to find your voice through it. You're going to be able to maybe start over because things are changing, okay? Um, I feel like that's a change. It's also a feeling of um, uh, like peace and serenity, okay? So maybe you're allowing to listen to the clutter, clutter but leave it behind, okay? Um, let's see, what is their insight for today? Oops, this one came out. Okay, 
so let's see let's do that one um commune with nature you are part of nature you can find peace and healing when you connect deeply with the elements sit in the grass breathe in the sun bathe in the sun i mean let the rain pour down on you let nature soothe you so be out be outdoors it's very healing um, I like to go hiking, and I went on a hike this morning, and it was so beautiful and peaceful. I just love it. Okay, so um, breaking free, that's definitely what we see here. Um, and positivity, and then communication, letting go, and you can start over in the future, okay? And keep manifesting whatever it is for you here that you need to, um, to manifest. Whatever you're trying to do, it will come through. Okay, and let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. What are the angel messages for today, please? The angel messages. Okay, you're ready. That's beautiful. One came out. It says, you're ready. I feel like you're ready, whoever this is. Um, start shining, really. So let's close it off with the Kuan Yin. What is the Kuan Yin for today, please? What's the Kuan Yin for today? The Kuan Yin, please. Okay, so let's see. You have two. Okay, so good fortune granted. Just as there are physical seasons upon the earth, the soul too goes through its seasons. Spring in the soul heralds time of birth, new ideas, new inspiration, new energy to take action, new life, new connections.